Okay, welcome to a new series. We're gonna call it Getting the Cart Ready for the Season. I'm gonna show you how to build a new cart up from scratch, some of the checks and the things that I go over with this cart, and we'll get it ready to race. Today, we're gonna to go over tires. I'm gonna show you what tires I'm using, and we're gonna get it mounted on the rims. So the tires that we got going on today are as follows. We've got the wet Vega tires, and these are fantastic wet tires, really grippy, um, kind of the gold standard as far as I know. Our club is switching to the Mojo D5. So I got a set of these sitting here, which I'm looking forward to getting on the cart. And I have a set of Mojo reins. And these Mojo reins are not nearly as good as the Vegas, they're quite a bit harder. But I did learn a trick from Lonnie last year. We have a new set of rain rims over here and we got the rims that are on the cart which I'm going to pull off in just a second. So the Mojo reins are a lot stiffer, a lot harder and they're not nearly as fast on the track but we found out through Lonnie's experience they actually make a great intermediate tire. So when it's not quite dry enough for dries and it's a little bit not wet enough for wets, kind of in that middle, those mojos actually do quite well, and uh, Lonnie has multiple times shown the rest of the club exactly how fast he can be on the right tire. So I'm looking forward to getting some set up for myself for this year. So we're gonna have three sets of tires. We have dry, wet, and an intermediate set of tires to go to the track with today. So here's just comparing a different set of rims. You can see the OTK, um, these are magnesium. These are kind of gold, they're painted gold. They're not actually gold. You can see it's kind of a dull gray on the inside there. These are aluminum and they're very much the same size um, because these are for the reins. The rain tires are a little bit different. And the place where you'll see it is on the rears. You can see the width is quite a bit different for the rain tires. Something to be aware of is if you're looking for rims for tires, they are not the same size. Get the stem mounted onto the rim. So you can see the stem's not in. Stem goes in as far as it'll go with your thumbs. Trusty old grips. Just like that. You'll notice on the dry tires that they have the bead locks for the bead of the tire, and on the wet tires, there is none. And that's typically because you run higher pressures on the wet tires than you do on the dry tires. And that prevents the uh, bead from becoming unseated when you're running low pressures like eight or nine PSI, when here you're running more like 15 and sometimes higher. The items you're gonna need to do, tires, mount tires, is some kind of a lubricant. You can use glass cleaners, what I use. I like to use tire tongs. These are tongs.si, but you don't have to use a tire tool. This is the one I prefer to use. There are guys that are really fast with no tools whatsoever. It's up to your preference and style. To unmount a like bead breaker, you're definitely gonna need a bead breaker. There's a couple different styles. This is the one that I have. Okay, here goes. Okay. 
So here I sped it up for you. This actually took more like seven or eight minutes of me trying to remember how to do this and struggling with the first tire. There we go. I have to do a little fussing around. This one went a lot better and it shows you how long it takes to do a tire once you know how to do it. This was my second attempt. <laughs> It gets faster from here, guys. Okay, we got all these tires on, and I made sure that the direction arrows are correct. You can see on the mojo, the direction arrow is right there. So, make sure your directions are in the correct way, and your rims are in the right position. Now the next step would be to inflate them, and then deflate them, screw in the bead locks, and then set them to the right pressure. pressure. Okay, let's do the rain tires. Okay, we're making progress. One more set of tires to go. The next set of tires I have to unmount before I can do them. So this would be a good time for you to see how to unmount. Okay, hopefully that came through. So the tires are all off now. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the rims because they're all mucky and full of rain gunk. You guys all who've been carting in the rain know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna skip it because it's boring. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. All the tires are mounted, and now it's time to inflate them all up. Well, here's where I sat and basically stared at the tire for about six or seven minutes trying to figure out what to do. 
the tire is significantly narrower than the rim and it won't bead properly and I can't get enough air into it to get it to actually work. Well, let's put this aside and try a different one. If in doubt, take it to your local cart shop. Joey from Overdrive showed me a cool technique where he used his knees and his hands, he bounced on the tire and was able to get the rim seated. Thanks, Joey. Amazing work. Okay, so the tires are inflated. They're on the cart. They're looking pretty good. We got a bunch of other tires stashed up over here. All inflated and ready to go for the next event. Super excited about that. Thanks for joining us for the tires. Who figured we could talk for so long about tires? Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to other parts of the cart.